the, the, the apostle said, increase our faith. The Lord said, use your faith. Say to the problem, be removed. And it has to go. From the root. God says, prophetically, in Jeremiah 1.12, I'm quick to perform my word. We're, we're, what word are we talking about? The word out of your mouth. That's right. Because you're taking this word, putting it in your heart and out your mouth, God is standing behind it quickly to perform it. The Amplified says, I'm alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. You can't get any stronger than that. Psalm 103.20 tells us that the angels hearken unto the voice yeah. of the Word of God. Yeah. So when you put voice to the Word of God, out of your mouth, from your heart, you have legions of angels yeah. working on it. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. It's not you that makes it happen is the power behind those words that you have faith in them, that grace that has already made it happen and then it becomes fulfilled, manifested. Because you become skillful in your words by what you believe. Okay, are you with me? Job 6.25 said how forcible are right words. How forcible are right words. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, they forced the devil right out. Hallelujah. We must quit crying to the Lord about our problem and begin to speak to Him. Glory to God. You know, it was an argument for a long time. It still is. People still want to argue whether he should pray twice or not. <coughs> well, should I pray twice? Well, if you didn't believe the first time, you should. Yeah. Keep on until you get it. You know, the faith part of it, that you believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But, you, you know, let's get beyond that. Hallelujah. And let's quit moaning and crying to God and begin to speak to the mountain, mm -hmm. to the sycamine tree, mm -hmm. and command it mm -hmm. to be removed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that's what happened to the rock. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to speak to it on the second time, and the water gushed forth and took care of the people. It's pretty interesting, along these lines, look in Exodus 14. I love this scripture. <coughs> Exodus 14. Exodus and Exodus. Wow. Exodus 14, and we'll read verse uh, 17. I mean. yeah. Verse 14. They, they're about to cross the Red Sea, mm -hmm. and they're, the people are crying out, oh, Help us. You know, the, the Egyptians are behind us. We're stuck. Yeah. Verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you and you'll hold your peace. Yeah. In other words, He's already done it for us. Amen. Verse 15, And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. Now look at this. Wherefore criest thou unto me? Yeah. What's your God? <laughs> Wouldn't that be your answer? What's your God? Yeah. <laughs> but He said to him, Speak! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just normal thinking to say, I'm crying to you because you're my God. But we're not normal anymore. We're that crazy bunch of names playing it. Blab it and grab it. And so, he says, speak. Don't don't whine and cry to me. Speak. Speak to the people. That they should go forward. Move. Do something. Mm. 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 Well, I thought it was uh, you know, being holy that's bawling 
fall in the crowd. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, if you need to repent, maybe it is. Yeah. Amen. You know, for repentance, yeah. I can see, uh, you know, blubbering a little bit. But if you're asking God for something, you're just in religious unbelief. Totally. I don't mean to be ugly. Well. But uh, you're, you're you're asking, you're trying to smite the rock again. Uh oh. God has given you specific instruction to speak. Use the authority He paid for with His blood. And say to it, Money? You get in here. Cancer? You get off my money. Now. In Jesus' name. Now. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I had this thing come up on my right under my eye. And another one right here. Uh -uh. You can't see no sign of it now, but they were dark spots. They were ugly looking. And uh, the devil tried to tell me, well, you, you got skin cancer. You, you know, you're 57. You need to go to the doctor and that free froze off. Yeah. It should be the normal practice. Yeah. But I'm not normal. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, you guys. So I, I said to it every day in my time of prayer, in my chair there. Because it would remind me when I'm there. I'm oh, yeah. Oh, look in the mirror shade and stuff. But I reminded it it's not there. It's a lie. And then one morning, I was sitting there, and the Holy Spirit said to me, just pull it off. My God. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just reached out and pulled it off. Amen. Glory. I mean, the skin on it was like a baby skin. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 